just on the highway, traveling between Hastings and Central Hawke's Bay, and the sky is looking, it's gonna kick off. We've got an incredible little cloud formation just running along the eastern horizon. I think it's gonna make quite a nice shot. It's just a pull up, literally pull up at the side of the road, try and get anything, something. And there's this railway crossing. I always think this looks quite cool. Railway crossing, we're gonna use that in the foreground. Red sky, stunningly beautiful in the background. And uh, there's quite a bit of road noise because we're on the main highway. We're gonna shoot it on Kodak Ektar 100 through the Bronica ETRSI system. And I think it's gonna make quite a nice shot. Just need to grab my tripod actually. Now that sky is looking pretty amazing. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to work real swift here because we've got a train coming along the track. See if we can get a real quick sneaky shot of this here train buzzing along. Oh my God, it's going to have to be quick, quick, quick. No time for this, no time for this. Oh man, it's quite nice actually, it looks quite nice. The only thing letting this team down, unfortunately, is the bloody stupid telephone lines that are running across there. All right, real quick reading. ISO 100, I'm gonna shoot it at 5.6, a fourth of a second. And it's going to be real quick, guys, real quick. Make sure we're all focused in. All right, I don't like those telephone lines. I really don't like the telephone lines. But there's jack all I can do about that, unfortunately. Not too far away now, actually. Not too far away at all. I don't know if it's gonna work this shot, but I'm willing to give it a nudge. Here she comes, she's a good old train. 5.6, F4, ISO 100. Might get one frame out of it. If I'm something like Lucky. There you go. Beautiful. So I managed two frames out of that. I think I missed the first frame, to be fair. Don't know. A real quick decision. We're just going to try Try the other side of the tracks for the simple reason the sky is looking pretty funky behind me. There's another sign here, the other side of the tracks. Presumably the same, it is awesome. And maybe, oh, okay, maybe I could make a shot in here, but looking at it now, eh, I don't really fancy it. It's got potential for a silhouette shot, that's for sure, but I do like. I don't like the sky this side. It's more subtle, there's more detail in there. But, oh Jesus, knocking my camera. But that is looking okay. That's looking pretty cool actually. I think that'll be the, the shot for now, this minute. Let's crack on. So I'm just gonna take a quick, oh shit. Just gonna take a quick reading from this side. And that is looking like 2.8, the fourth of a second. I'm not too bothered about a ton of depth of field in this one. I just want to put the focus on the focus on the crossing sign and leave the sky to do the rest. I'm not actually over keen on this one now. Look better on the video camera actually. So there must be a shot here. Oh there is. Yeah, yeah, there is. That's okay. That's better. Not a, not a great deal better. Uh, I'm not overly keen. I'm not overly keen. It's better with a sign straight on, like that. But unfortunately the sky is pretty bland above there. So to get a good sky in there, I need to be that side. But then the sign becomes irrelevant. Kind of pointless. I'm not even fancying wasting a frigging frame on it. Bugger it, let's, uh, let's move. Don't know where, but let's move. Think, think, think. This is the danger when you've got a, a, nice, a nice little sunset going on and you can't really get a, a good subject. What's that? There's a bit of color in the sky that side, but no, 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 no. It's not happening. This could be one of those situations where, do I take a shot just for the sake of it? Or do I not bother? If it was digital, I'd take a shot because it's film 
I really don't want to waste it. I mean, it's only a frame, but look at that though, guys. Oh, I've got to take it. It's got to be worth a shot, surely. Certainly not, certainly not what I was fancying. I don't think it's going to work, man. I really don't. Let's, let's, go on a, let's go on a lower angle. I'm going to start losing that sky soon. I was hoping for the, the sky behind me to kick off, but it's just it's gone. It's dead. Nothing. Not a thing. So I made the right decision coming this side of the tracks. But unfortunately, I really don't, I really don't fancy this shot. I'm going to leave a few of these little grasses that are sticking up there in the foreground. Just, just to add a little bit of something to the frame. Meter reading, meter reading. Two point eight, half a second. Again, I just can't be doing this shot. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame because uh, I thought we might have had something from this side, but unfortunately, this is just a real nothing shot, really. But hell, I'm here. Let's try and frame it that way. Try that. That's it, guys. That's. It is a nice sunset to look at, but don't know. That side there, like I said, behind me, where those funky clouds were, nothing. That is definitely the shot there, but I don't think I've made the... I really don't think I've made the best of that. I think that's what you get with... Oh, it's not even looking good there. That's what you get with really not, not arriving in plenty of time. It's just a real rush shot, and it's just not worked. Let's just have a quick look on the screen in there. That is what we've got. Hoping for the best, trying to make a shot on the fly. I think, if anything, I think the shot, make sure there's no trains coming. I think the shot of the train passing by, that could be my best shot really from tonight. Real fast one, over and done. If we get a shot, we get a shot. If it's a nice shot, I'll be amazed. You don't try, you don't get. Cheers guys, Kakitano.